Alright, um, I'm going to do a short video because I'm getting questions uh, on this uh, working project on how I achieved the uh, running pulsing lights at the, at the bottom here. Um, so they are uh, they're pulsing, they're moving and they are pretty cool. They're very situational though, so um, don't come out of this thinking that you can put these anywhere. Uh, I'll explain later. Let's uh, head down and see what's going on. Okay, so here we are at the ground floor, or the water floor, whatever you want to call it. Um, so uh, please ignore everything else that is going on, which is quite a lot, but I'm too lazy to build like a separate test setup for this, so here we go. Um, yeah, these, these lights, um, what they are, they're basically a belt, a Mark VI belt, sitting at water level. So you see that they are sitting just on the surface of the water. So sometimes a wave laps over it and sometimes they, the wave goes under and exposes the belt. And the bits that really sets it apart is the color scheme that I'm using for it. So let me just uh, grab a, you know, a standard color scheme, like the Caterium one, or I could you know, choose a gray or use this one, which Notice that the, um, the shine, the shiny bit of the belt uses the secondary color. I use the right red one here. There's a, the next element to it is that I have this uh, color swatch with its secondary color turned all the way up to 30. It's quite bonkers. Um, normally this slider, you, as you can see over on this uh, one, the slider goes between zero and one. But you can manually put in Whatever you want, you can put in a thousand. Hit enter, and it will go super bright. I don't want to do this necessarily, um, so I'm going to cancel here. But if I use this swatch, use it on the belts, it oversaturates the bloom on these belts, and there we go. Now we have a projecting running light source. The um, thing to know about this light is that it, it's not actually light, a light source in the game, so it doesn't bounce off of any other surface, it's just a bunch of bloom. Um, the signs and the, the actual lights, lights, they do bounce off of other surfaces, so you can see the red, the red lights, uh, the tail lights of these, this train, bouncing off the water and off the corners of this block here. None of that happens with this yellow light, so notice that. Um, so notice that yeah. you have to place it on the ocean because if you go f too far towards the land the waves aren't uh, as pronounced they don't have the amplitude that they have out here which makes the effects uh, either not work or just a lot less uh, pronounced so that's that's another thing um, and of course if you do that saturation effect you can only ever use base colors so only colors with a hex code that is a combination of FF and 00. zero. So you can do yellow, green, blue, red, but you can't like use it for like a, a nice um, like more uh, well, what should I call it? More uh, a sophisticated form of, of, uh, of purple or whatever. So that's another limitation to this. Um, but that's basically it. I hope that um, answers some questions and uh, inspires you to build some more crazy stuff so have at it